Assalamualaikum, my name is Sayyid Azadi and I'm the founder of Working Muslim. The whole concept is to be the champion of the working Muslim woman, you know, and so we're here as a support network that's out there for people who are facing particular issues. So try and, and actually think about the things that come from the Islamic principles and one of the things that it teaches us is the principle of Ihsan and excellence and there's no point in doing anything if you're not going to do it to the best of your abilities. I hope that I represent something that everybody can do because I've managed to do it and there's no reason why you can't have a family, have a great career and also be a very, very kind of confident practicing Muslim. And I think the biggest surprising thing for me was that when I then went for these jobs where I was literally kind of increasing my salary by half and I always, I'm a bit crazy like that, I go for jobs that, you know, you wouldn't normally expect to get and alhamdulillah you know, with a lot of dua and preparation and stuff, I managed to get them. And uh, I was going for interviews, looking the way that I do, you know, wearing a smart suit and being modest and kind of wearing hijab and stuff and actually expressing my Islamic identity and then being offered the job. So for anybody who wants to aim that high, I would say the key thing really is self-belief. I mean, there is the only person that is going to stop you from being able to do what you want to is you. I think that um, women on the whole, regardless of whether they're Muslim or not Muslim, um, there are issues that society has with women working, particularly women that have got children. And you can kind of understand why the expectation is that the women should raise their children and stay at home and look after the family and things, because part of it is kind of in our DNA, you know. But at the same time, if we take that as an idea and reflect it back to Islam and the time of the Sahaba and the time of Prophet Muhammad then there is no reason why women cannot work. And my role model is Khadija, you know, and she had a family, she had an incredibly successful business and she was able to do all of these other things and subhanAllah, she was the wife of the Prophet Muhammad If we look at where we are now in the 21st century, what we're doing is we are not reflecting um, as Muslims on our own history and unfortunately a lot of the stigma that's, that exists within wider society but also within our own community about women working is primarily to do with um, culture. You know, the one thing that I would always say to people is that you have a choice, you know, and if you choose not to work and you are able to look after yourself and put a roof over your head and have etc etc then that's fine you know but don't waste your time do something that is of value and something that is useful not just for you but for your family and for society and whatever that is so that can be volunteering work it can be studying but don't just sit at home and watch the telly it's kind of a shame that we now have programs for women to become directors in companies in the city that kind of stuff should exist anyway if you choose to live in the uk then i think you've got to um kind of portray the fact that you are a, a positive kind of british muslim and that we're not just staying at home and doing nothing and we've got to go out and be active members of society because we would do that in the kind of countries where our parents and our parents parents and other generations came from so why aren't we doing that here is there a conflict between being british and muslim for me personally no i was born in london i know nothing else you know the irony of the situation is that when i am kind of going about my daily business in london people see me and they think oh she's a foreigner last time i went to pakistan people were like oh you know you're so english and it's kind of like, well, where do I go, you know? And as the world gets smaller and we have more active communication and things, people will just be seen as citizens of the world. What's the future for me now? I have no idea, but I know what I would like the future to be. And I think it's about just creating positive impact, you know, and actually enabling women to go out there and feel more confident. and. Every time I do something and I get an email from a sister somewhere and she says, oh, you know, I've done this because of that information that you provided or that email you sent, I just, it makes me think, you know, there's not enough time for me to do the stuff that I want to do. And what is amazing for me is that, you know, I'm sitting in my house in London, but the reach that Working Muslim has is international. 
and I just want to empower women all over the world.